Hey everybody, Matt here. Um, so I had uh, a couple requests to make a uh, Irithal skip tutorial video. So um, this is gonna be a quick uh, little tutorial on setting it up. Um, it's not terribly difficult of a skip, but I'll give you guys the lineup I use, and then I'll post the links to some other videos in case like the way I teach it doesn't uh, exactly click with you. Um, and I'll also link the Speed Souls uh, wiki in addition to uh, everything else. So, uh, I'll just do like a quick overview of the skip itself and then uh, go over the lineup and then show you the execution of it a little bit. So, uh, let's get started. Okay, so Irithel skip. Uh, this is a skip in Dark Souls 3, um, which like the name states. It actually skips a large portion of Irithel of the Boreal Valley. Which, um, if any of you have like played the game casually enough times or like ran through this area enough times, you know how terrifying that is. There's like the two fire witches, there's like all the Irithel knights, there's that scary tunnel with the invisible dudes. There's just a lot of monk ass stuff going on here. So like this skip bypasses all of it. It's really neat. Um, you basically like line yourself up, jump over some railing, it sets you out of bounds on a path like straight to the distant manor bonfire. Um, so in addition of skipping all the scary stuff, you also get a time save about of uh, 70 seconds. Um, so and also, last thing to note that this also works on patch 1.04 and later patches. So it's really useful across the board for speedrunning and whatever you want to do with the game. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's move on to the lineup. Okay, so let's go over this lineup here. So... Generally, you want to run past the knights down here, and then you'll, like, quit out, like, somewhere around here. And that gives you enough time to, like, set everything up, generally. If you miss it, like, say, twice in a row, or you take, like, an eternity to set it up, I might suggest quitting out again, because the knights do path up in this direction. So it's worth noting to, um, be aware of where the knights are. But the lineup is, like, super straightforward and like pretty lenient but the way i do it is i take this like corner thing right here um like that's like right above my head um i jam myself into this corner here and i take that corner and line it up on the fourth step here and uh what i do next is i generally um cast spook and while i'm casting spook i buffer my run and sprint by holding w and my sprint button on the keyboard so i'll cast spook Hold W and sprint, and then I'll jump. I jumped a little early there, but um, what I generally aim for is like jumping on like the third step, and then um, it usually just like catapults you over. It's important that you're holding W as you um, jump because you'll do this little roll thing, and it like will put you over the edge. And the reason I like to hold W and sprint as I'm um, casting Spook is that it pretty much, like, just immediately starts sprinting. You don't get that, like, lag time of um, the run start animation that you, like, get. Like, see, like, see how there's, like, a little bit of lag as I hold sprint here? Like, you don't get that if you hold sprint and uh, W as you're casting Spook, so... That's the way I like to do it. And then, um, if you jump too late, you'll just like kind of slip off. Let me demonstrate that. Yeah, you'll kind of slip off like that. And then if you jump too early, I don't, let's see here, let me jump early. Yeah, you won't even make it like that. That's like two examples of like what you could be doing wrong if you jump late or early. But uh, let's kind of go over the pathing of when you do get the skip. It's important to cast Spook because it, like, prevents fall damage here. And then it'll prevent fall damage up here. And I like to jump here because then it sets up a roll straight into the door. And then you get to the bonfire. yippee ki -yay, motherfuckers. Baby's first year, full skip. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.